This next story has recently been the cause of some seriously heated debates at the Snowtrax World Headquarters. Where the three of us Lesters tend to agree on most things, in this case, none of us agreed at all. So what's been causing all this tension recently? In a word, crossovers. Or more specifically, the intended purpose and differences between Skidoo and Polaris crossover models. Here's the thing, the word crossover is a joke. It means nothing these days because it can literally mean anything. From a Polaris Axis Switchback Pro S to a Skidoo Backcountry X, there are so many different models labeled crossovers, we just don't know what it means anymore. So I thought we'd break down these sleds that are causing all this confusion in the hopes that if nothing else, you can understand where we feel them lining up in terms of on and off trail performance If you're planning on spending the majority of, if not all your time on the trail, we can't think of a better platform for you than the Switchback Pro S. Its longer track bridges bumps for a better ride and produces excellent traction and unbelievable corner to corner acceleration. But why is this thing called a Switchback? A Switchback is supposed to be a crossover sled, right? But the Pro S with its 1.25 lug, 137 inch track is not designed for off trail. Confused? Uh, don't be. The important thing to understand is that switchback does not mean crossover. It means 137 inch track. The Pro X models are labeled big bump sleds and are designed to be ridden in ditches and in other rough conditions. They come with a 1.75 lug track and are excellent off trail. On the trail though, the additional ride height and subsequent increase in center of gravity combined with a lighter sway bar seriously affect handling most specifically, level cornering. Inside ski lift is definitely a problem. What does confuse things though, is that Polaris lists their 144 Assault as a switchback. It's got an RMK skid, 144 inch track with a 1.375 lug. Its ride is, let's say, unpleasant, and it doesn't handle that great on the trails. But off trail, it's a dream to ride and it can go just about anywhere. Now let's take a look at what Skidoo considers to be a crossover sled. Arguably, they started this class with the original Renegade, which in its day was designed to go on and off trail with equal competence. Now, you have more choices than you have fingers and toes, all under the Renegade heading. But again, Renegade doesn't mean crossover anymore. It simply signifies a 137 inch track. The Renegade X includes a 15 by 137 inch with a 125 lug. Shocks are the more trail-oriented KYB plus R's up front, and the R-Motion rear skid is fantastic. Though it's labeled a Renegade, there really isn't anything about this sled that screams crossover. In the minds of all of us here at Snow Tracks, we think it's really more of a trail performance sled with a longer track. But what about the XRS package? It can be ordered with either a 125 or 1.5 lug track and comes equipped with full-on, fully adjustable KYB piggybacks up front. Our motion in the rear is pure suspension perfection as usual. The XRS package has traditionally been targeted at big bump riders who can make full use of its high-end shocks. Still, is this a crossover? Sure, it can go off trail, and with a 1.5 lug, it's pretty capable. But if you ordered yours with a 125, what makes it any different than an X package? Our conclusion is that this sled, while capable with a 1.5 off trail, isn't likely to spend much of its life there. It's more of a ditch banger than it is a crossover. If you do know you're going to spend considerable time off trail, you might lean towards Skidoo's Backcountry Renegade X model. As its name suggests, it actually is targeted at off trail riding. This is perhaps the truest crossover sled we'll talk about today. Its chassis and suspension are nearly identical to the X model, but it includes a higher bar riser and a 16 wide by 175 paddle track. It does handle well on the trail, but it's supremely capable off trail as well. We think this is what a crossover should be. This is a lot of information to digest all at once, but the point I'm trying to make is simple. A 137 inch track does not make for a crossover. Skidoo's for Renegade X and Polaris's switchbacks are simply longer track trail sleds. A Renegade XRS can go off trail, but is better suited to rough situations on harder pack surfaces. 
A Switchback Pro X is great in the bumps and decent in deeper conditions at the expense of its on-trail handling. A Renegade Backcountry really is a crossover sled that does equally as well on or off the trail. A Switchback Assault is a sled that should be reserved for people who know they're going to spend the majority of their time in the woods. So how can this information help you when it comes time to buy a sled? Well, here at Snow Tracks, we hope it highlights one important point. You can't pick a sled based on name or classification. You have to take a look at what it is or isn't good at and pick a sled whose strengths match your riding style. Just because you're an aggressive rider doesn't mean a Pro-X or XRS are the right sled for you. If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.